Hey everyone, welcome to our first video tutorial. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of deploying your Ghost blog on Railway in under 10 minutes. The topics we will cover are deploying your Ghost blog from scratch with absolutely no coding experience required, hosting your images on Cloudinary for added benefits like caching and serving them via CDN, setting up a custom domain for your Ghost blog, and installing a custom theme, which could be any publicly available Ghost theme. So let's get started. To work through this tutorial with me, you will need a Cloudinary account to store and serve the images for your blog, a GitHub account, and a Railway account connected to your GitHub account. This is required because Railway creates a repository for you on your GitHub account, which allows you to customize your blog as much as you'd like. To deploy your Ghost blog on Railway, visit our starters page and search for the Ghost Starter. Once you find it, click the Deploy button, and this will bring you to a page where we'll ask you for some additional configuration about your blog. The first of which is the name of the repo that we should create for you on your GitHub. You can also customize the account in which you want this created, and you can choose whether or not it should be a private repo or a public repo. We also ask you for some environment variables, the first of which is the Cloudinary URL. To get this, we'll visit the Cloudinary dashboard and you can see that they have an API environment variable available here, which is the Cloudinary URL. So we'll copy this variable, head over back to Railway and paste it in here. Hey, future me here with a quick editor's note. So when you copy your Cloudinary URL from the Cloudinary dashboard, it will be in this format. But what Railway expects is only this part of the URL. So before you paste your URL in, make sure you remove this bit here and only paste in this part. Otherwise, you'll run into issues during your deployment. That's it, back to the video now. We also ask you for some Mailgun related variables. These are required if you want to configure email newsletters or invite people to your team. And the last variable here is the blog URL. We have already configured this variable for you, so you don't need to change this at all. And we'll change it later when we add a custom domain to our blog. For now, we can just click the deploy button. And what this does is Railway starts creating this repository in our GitHub account for us, and also provisioning the required MySQL database, which is needed for Ghost to store your blog posts and other user-related data. So we can see now that the project, like Railway has started creating the project for us. And we can see here that our blog is already building and our MySQL database has already been provisioned. There are no tables right now because the blog is still building, but this should all be set up in a second. To add a custom domain to your Ghost blog, go back to your Railway project and click the Ghost service. Next, go to the Domains tab and click the Add Custom Domain button. Enter your domain in this field, and I'll just enter a domain I happen to have lying around and click the Add Domain button. Once you add the domain, you can see that Railway will prompt you to add the following CNAME to your DNS record. So we'll copy this URL here, go to our DNS provider, and click Add Record, select CNAME with the host value of at and the target value of our Railway domain. Click the Save button, and this should be everything you need to do to configure the custom domain for your blog on Railway. If we go here, we can see that this already points to supertable.co. Same thing here. One last thing we need to do for Ghost to recognize our custom domain is head over to the Variables tab and edit this blog URL value. So we'll click the Edit button here, and I'm just going to remove the Railway static URL part and type in supertable.co and click Save. Once you do this, Railway will automatically trigger a redeploy of your project. So if we go to the Deployments tab, we can see that a new deploy has been triggered for us. And when this deploy is completed, our Ghost blog will also know that we have updated the domain for our blog. While we wait for our DNS changes to get propagated worldwide, Let's talk about how we can add additional themes to our Ghost blog. If we visit the Ghost admin dashboard, 
we can see that the railway startup block comes with two themes installed by default. Let's say we want to add another theme, for example, this one called Pico. We can visit the GitHub repository for the theme, look at the org, the repo name, and the default branch. Next, open the repository that Railway creates for you in the code editor of choice, head over to the package.json file, and under the dependencies section, add an additional dependency. So we'll call this dependency Pico. It comes from GitHub in the tryghost org, where the repo name is Pico and the default branch is main. Hit save and run yarn. We can ignore this error that pops up here because it only happens locally. Next, head over to the themes.sh file in the bin directory and under the themes block, add the theme we just installed. Hit save and add, the, add your changes to GitHub. So we'll just make a commit called add pico theme and we'll push these changes to GitHub. Once we push these changes, Railway will automatically start creating a new deployment for us. So if we head over back to our project, we can see that a new deployment has already been initialized and has started building. Once this deployment is completed, we can visit our ghost blog and we can check to see if the theme actually works. A few moments later. Our latest commit has just been deployed. If we head over to the ghost admin dashboard, we can see that we now have three themes to choose from. Let's activate the Pico theme, go to our deployment and hit the refresh button. We can see that we can immediately switch to the Pico theme. If we go back, we can choose Casper again, hit refresh and we're back to our old theme. We can do this with any additional themes we add and we can immediately customize our blog with the click of a button. And with that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. We deployed a ghost blog from scratch, added a custom domain and set up additional themes and learned how to switch between them. If you work within a team and would like to invite your teammates or send newsletters from your blog, you can add the mailgun related variables that we skipped during the beginning and everything should just automatically work. We'd love to hear what you thought about this video. So feel free to leave your feedback or questions in the comment section. We're also taking suggestions for what our future tutorials should be. So leave those in there as well. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful. Goodbye.